Hello everyone, this is Hot Destiny here, and today we are going to be predicting Will Be Volume 6, Chapter 13, the finale. Oh my goodness. Um, but if you haven't watched Chapter 12, make sure to go do so because it's going to contain heavy spoilers for that episode as well. Because we need to talk about it in the next episode and with the spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go do so right now, please. Um, so don't get mad at me in the comments for being spoiling on you. So it's kind of your fault if you keep continuing on if you haven't seen Chapter 12 yet. Um, but yeah. All right, let's talk about the episode, what we think is going to happen. This is the final prediction video for Chapter Volume 6. And oh my goodness, the finale is here. I am... Beyond nervous for what's going to happen in this finale episode. Because let's talk about Verve for right now. Uh, Verve actually put out a promotion for this finale saying we're going to see the world of Ruby in an all new light. Just think about that. Because usually that phrase usually means something bad is going to happen in this finale. Because a lot of the auras are gone. The attack on August is happening right now. And it's going to be kind of crazy to see what's actually going to happen in this week's episode. But more than fact on the line, this is going to be an Attack on August episode. We're probably going to get two episodes bunched into one. What used to be 14. So we'll probably get a longer episode this week. It's going to be this majority of fighting. Make sure August is safe. Uh, we're also going to probably try to calm down Cordovan so that she can go fight the Leviathan because we now have a good kaiju on the way to August and that's not going to be good. So that's kind of like the worst time to pin down the mech <laughs> at this point. It's really not the best situation where they are in. So it's going to be very curious of what's going to happen in this week's episode. Um... But yeah, here's the rundown of what I think is going to happen. They're going to come down Cordo. Like you say, hey, the Grim are attacking your base. What are you going to do? Are you going to fight or are you going to be a little bitch? Basically, they're not going to say that. But it's going to be kind of like that. Are you going to still fight us for no fucking reason at this point? When your base is under attack, are you going to go help them? But they're probably going to have like a little comedic effect. Like, I can't move. Like, basically, they're probably going to do a little joke on it. Like, hey, you made you had this happen to me, so now you have to get me out of this so I can go fight the Grim. And they do. They get Red Cordo out, and she goes fight the Leviathan while everyone else uh, goes in and attacks uh, August. Like, they go in and fight the Grim and stuff like that. Uh, and then we come back to Blake and Yane in this week's episode. We go back. Uh, they have a little moment of chatter. We have a little bit of monologue between what they're actually going to do now. And then they see the Grim attacking August. They see a bunch of Grim going on. They probably have some Grim on their own. That are gonna, they're going to need to fight. And they do. Um, even with their auras gone, they're still going to come out on top. Even if they do. So with their Grim done, they're going to head to Ruby and everyone else to see like... See if they need help, which obviously they are going to do because a lot of their auras are fucked up. So they're going to need all the commanders that they need. Uh, probably the people without auras are going to help the civilians. Get them to safety at this point. Uh, and people who are going to be able to fight will fight. Um, I really don't want Ruby to use his silver eyes here. You know. Because one of the main reasons, one, is going to draw them too much attention that they don't need right now. Okay, even though it's going to be super fucking useful in this fight, Silver Eyes, it's just going to be like, a lot of people are going to be fucking insane, like, see, like, what the fuck's going on, why the grip suddenly, like, disappearing like, out of fucking nowhere, it's going to cause too much chaos, so they're probably not even going to bother with it, so, yeah, they'll probably just have a fight normally, because I don't think Ruby's aura is gone, I don't think so. But everyone else pretty much is. I also like to see if Ospin does come back in this week's episode. Because it has been since, like, what? Chapter 4? This isn't the last time we've seen Ospin. So we'll kind of be like, Ospin, please come back at this point. We're going to need your help to fight um, and shit like that. We're going to need everything that we need to make sure August is safe. So they're definitely going to head back to August. Uh, see if the Kona Ox are okay and everything else like that. Like, get them first and... Make sure uh, the civilians are good out of the way. Make sure they don't get fucked and eat. You know. So it's going to be one of... It's going to be a lot of tension going on in this week's episode of 
But let's talk about death predictions of what's going to happen in this week's episode. I always assume that so many team movies are either going to die, but I, I don't think so anymore. It's likely not going to happen. Because if it was going to happen, it was probably going to happen between Adam, you know? But maybe we might get like a secondary character, like someone from Juniper biting into the dust. Uh, it would really would be like, even though the timeline for Nintendo and Neo is like two weeks behind, it would be kind of fucked up if they actually showed up now too to do their own thing like Cinder backstabs Neo after a fight with Ruby and whatnot and that goes down maybe they may show up um, to attack Ruby because if any point it's time to come and do it when Ruby's like the most vulnerable it would be here it wouldn't make a lot of sense but it's a matter of if they actually got to hear, like, on time and how much time has passed between those two weeks. The last time that we saw Senator Neo, because he had two weeks behind. So it's a matter of if they're going to be able to get there in time. So, yeah, let's just hope they don't. <laughs> because if they do, it's going to cause trouble. One thing I would like it happen is if... Uh, Sinner and Neo attack Ruby, they have like this big epic fight going around between those three. Uh, after the fight, they actually take off one eye of Ruby. They get rid of one. Kind of like, and they will reference like the volume 4 chapter 1 with Tyrion, like an eye for an eye kind of reference going around. Because uh, Cinder lost her eye and then now Ruby's going to lose her eye. Because it's like, it's rhyming in rhyme. Like, you know, it kind of like how um, Star Wars does, it rhymes. So it would make a lot of sense for Ruby to lose one eye. So it would be kind of neat to see how she progresses as that as a character and stuff like that during volume 7. Now, I wonder if some of the eyes will be entirely affected with one eye gone, or would this be fine and this would do less damage? So maybe that we might have some explanation on those. I would also like to see after the fight, uh, once they do their job, like they get Ruby utterly defeated. Cinder Neo just backstabs Cinder, does her thing, and then I think at this point it might be real that Cinder actually does bite the dust. You know, she actually does get killed off. It would be kind of interesting to see if they actually do that with her character right as we come off during that moment in time um so yeah that's also what i think is going to happen so there's likely going to die but from the backstab or she actually might not and she might another option is that she doesn't die by the backstab and neil like sender Goes after Neo saying, what the hell? Why are you doing this? We were supposed to be partners and stuff like that. Even though we we could kill Ruby right here, right now. And then Cinder probably just like kills Neo right off the bat. Right there for betraying her during the moment in time that she needed her most. And then she tried to go after Ruby. And then someone else from behind, like Jod maybe. Like the straight up kill Cinder before she can kill Ruby at that moment in time. It was like when what could happen and then Cinder dies I don't know other least she would probably just get killed off because I think she's still kind of a nu nuisance at this moment in time but then the major thing is uh, who's going to get the main powers after Cinder gets killed off they'll probably leave that off as a cliffhanger like who was her final thoughts because it can't be Jean even though it, if it is Jean uh, he can't get the power because, you know, he's, he's male, so they would probably have, the power's gonna go with someone else randomly, so they'll probably leave it off as, like, a little thing, like, who has the fall made in powers, because we're gonna need it during when we get back to Beacon, and stuff like that, so they'll probably explain that and see who gets it. Um, also, no matter of fact, what else could happen in this week's episode? There's a lot of stuff that could happen, uh... Another big issue of what could happen in it. <clears throat> Another thing that could happen in this week's episode is Tyrion and Watts. Okay, because they have set it up them going to Atlas. So maybe when they went, like, after their conversation with Mercury and Emerald and Tyrion's conversation with them, uh, they started leaving to August, so maybe that's, like, the only way to transportation. They see the attack on August, and then uh, Tyrion just wants to do his thing, finds Ruby and everyone and whatnot, because they do see him. So they go off and attack them. Okay, uh, and then what would be awesome is that we get a rematch between Quill versus Tyrion, like an utter re rematch in this one. But this time, it doesn't go well for Quill. Okay, he would probably die in this 
fight. And because it, it would be kind of lame if he does make it out on top again. But I think it would be kind of nice if uh, he does get a little bit of redemption. He goes after uh, whatnot. We get it. He like he finds peace in this episode. He finds peace, and after his battle with Talion, uh, it's Dudzo. He's gone now. Uh, it would be very disappointing to see Crow die, but I think it would probably be like for the better right now. Um, obviously, it's not for the better, but it's a long time coming. And I think it would be kind of nice if he gets like a final redemption arc in this episode. And maybe we might get something with Summer and whatnot. Maybe like his final words, like Ruby. You look a lot like Summer. You act a lot like her and stuff like that. And maybe we might get a little, a little bit of a flashback. But I doubt it. Like final like, you know, visions. And then he goes to the ground. Tyrion starts laughing. And, and uh, he sees that Ruby's already lost an eye. So he just probably leaves. Does something else. Because he did the thing that he wanted to do for a while. So he's gone now. And of course Ruby in rage tries to uh, attack Tyrion as well. And so they start fighting. Uh, Ruby gets monologues in, like, you killed my uncle and stuff like that and everything. You ruined everything for me, uh, basically. And, um, the match ends in a draw. It's good because Tyrion is, like, trying to back her off. Like, he already did the thing that he needed to do. He did it. He needed to attack your eye because you already lost it and stuff like that. So he goes off and does a merry way. Like, tries to back off and he does. Um... So they get to Atlas and they do their thing and now they're going. The attack's still going on with Crow dead now. They need to still like attack Argus and shit. Um, it would be also kind of nice. Like there's a lot to talk about like what could happen. It's probably going to be a long ass chapter too. Um, what else could happen in this week? Damn like that's the thing. Like there's so many options for this week's episode to unfold. Um. I think I have one more thing. Let's talk about the end of the episode, okay? Uh, before, when we, before we end it. Uh, now, the end of the episode ends, and then the attack on August is kind of gone. But they use the final question. Before, like, everything is settled, they use it. They do, like, how do we defeat Salem? This time, instead of like, how do I defeat Salem? It's how do we defeat Salem? And they get their answer and stuff like that. I want to know what the answer could be. Maybe Silver Eyes might be the answer and stuff like that. Uh, kind of like a cliche shaped thing that's off the top of my head. But maybe that's where it could go. Well, we get a little bit more of the backstory. And we see like Summer Rose actually doing damage to Salem. Like that's kind of how she gets her veins and stuff like that. So that'd be kind of cool if we actually get to see like what she uses the Silver Eyes. Uh, the veins start cracking, and that's kind of like this thing, like, okay, she's being damaged from this. And that's why she killed someone, because, oh shit, they found a way to kill me, take out my grim form and whatnot. So that could be the case of all that going around. And then, end credits. Now, let's talk about the end credits scene and what I could, what I could be. Now... For the end credit scene, usually the, it doesn't, but I think that's what is going to be massively important. It's definitely going to end off on a major cliffhanger for this week's episode. So, with the talk about Summer Rose, okay, it was foreshadowing a little bit. Um, it was a little bit of foreshadowing, a little bit of like, hey, why do we keep bringing her up? Well, that's because she's alive. Because we all know that uh, in the show, they always say that she's missing. We don't actually know if she is dead or not. Well, everyone else in Kruby say she is dead. But it's a matter of, I haven't seen a body in the grave. Like, how do I know? Like, if, if I remember correctly, there's no body in there. So they could do it like a big thing, like some Rose is actually alive somewhere in Salem's castle and stuff like that. So maybe we still would be here and like goes up to summer and see like, so, and they do this big reveal, and then they end it off on the episode. Um, so, yeah, what do you all think is going to happen this week's episode of the finale of Ruby Volume 6? Leave a leave your comment section box below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for a trip like these. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!